Hey guys, so now that Apple has officially released iOS 18.4, today I want to talk about a few settings you're going to want to change right after you update your iPhone to Apple's latest update. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is camera controls because with iOS 18.4, you can now change which app, which camera app will launch with this new camera controls on your iPhone. So let me show you how to change that. Let's go into settings. Let's go into the camera options. Let's go under camera controls and then select camera right here, launch camera. You see here, you now have options to choose which application will launch with the camera controls on the iPhone 16. So right now I have the standard camera app, as you see right there. So if I press, this will launch the camera app, the iOS camera app. So I can go ahead and change that to, let's say Instagram. So I can choose any third party app as well. Now, when I press on the camera controls, obviously Instagram will launch automatically using the camera controls. Now you can also choose from other options as you see right here from magnifier and other options available to you or simply just choose none if you want. But you now have the ability to actually select which application or which camera app will launch with the camera controls on iPhone 16. I think this is a really cool new feature. Now something else that's really cool in iOS 18.4 is that you can use Apple Intelligence new visual intelligence feature previously only available on the iPhone 16 lineup on an iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. So this feature allows you to identify things using your camera and even point the camera of your iPhone to a restaurant to get information about the restaurant or identify animals, a plant and things of that nature. It's a really cool Apple intelligent feature, but Apple has brought that feature to the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max with iOS 18.4. Now the way you activate that on iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max is using a control center extension. So go into the control center and right here under add controls, you now have the new option to add visual intelligence right there it is. Once you add it, you can go ahead and add that right there to the control center and long press and you can use visual intelligence on the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. Now you can also use the action button on the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max as well as the iPhone 16 to launch visual intelligence with iOS 18.4. Just go into settings, head on over into the action button and then swipe all the way to the right until you see visual intelligence. Right there it is. Now you can long press on the action button and use that really cool Apple intelligence visual intelligence feature on your device using the action button both on the iPhone 16 and the iPhone 15 Pro lineup. Now you can also do this with the shortcut here on the lock screen. So you can add a shortcut to the lock screen for visual intelligence as you normally would and you can use it directly from the lock screen as well. So yeah, that is also one of the options I recommend you change right after you update your iPhone. Now iOS 18.4 also brings new options for Apple Music via Control Center extensions. So now you can go into Control Center on this latest update, click on Add Controls and you now have four ambient music options available for Apple Music. This is really cool. So if you have an event, you can select from four different options. You have sleep, you also have chill, you have productivity, and then you have well-being. So you can add any of these options. And obviously, once you press on this specific option, Apple Music will start playing the music according to the mood or the ambient music that you chose. So you have four new options available for all iPhones, available for Apple Music with these new options for ambient music controls and control center. Next, I want to talk about notifications. With iOS 18.4, Apple has added a new feature called prioritized notifications. Basically, using on-device intelligence, Apple can determine the content within the notification to surface the most important notifications on the lock screen of your device as you can see right here. Now you do need an Apple intelligent device. The way you enable this on your iPhone is by jumping into settings, heading over into notifications and right here it is prioritize notifications. Make sure you enable it right here and then you can go ahead and manage each app individually. So if you don't want notifications for a specific app, obviously you can just go ahead and turn off this toggle for the app that you don't want, but you can also control the entire feature altogether with one toggle here. But again, this uses on device intelligence to analyze the content within notifications to surface the most important notifications on the lock screen. Now you can still swipe up to see all other notifications, but the most important ones will be on the top. I think it's a really cool new feature. Now in iOS 18.4, you can now enable Genmoji directly from the keyboard on your iPhone, as you can see right there. So you wanna jump into the messages application, go under the emoji keyboard, and right there next to the search bar, you see a new icon, by the way, for Genmoji. Once you tap into that, you'll be able to enable Genmoji on your device using iOS 18.4. Now for the first time you do 
that, it's going to look something like this, as you can see right there. And last but not least, I want to talk about a small update to Image Playground, the application that allows you to create custom images on your iPhone using Apple Intelligence. You now have a new sketch option available right there it is. So for example, if you choose a person, you can go ahead and use that new sketch option or you can use the animation or illustration options for Apple Intelligence and Image Playground, just like so. So we now have all three options available on the latest iOS 18.4 as you can see right there. And that about brings it into this video. These are some of the settings and options I recommend you change right after you update your iPhone. Let me know what you think about iOS 18.4 so far. Have a great day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.